I know how hard it is with the sheer amount of notes we have to take during university. Throughout my uni life, I spent years just highlighting notes, summarizing off slides, rewriting and highlighting again. And I had pages and pages and pages of notes. I ended up going through about two books a semester per subject. Despite all this, I still never got the results that I was hoping for. This all changed when I discovered Active Recall. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Harry and I'm an aspiring medical student in Australia. I'm also currently studying to be a paramedic. Within this community, we aim to discuss different ways that we can live happier, more meaningful lives. Today, I'm gonna to talk about Active Recall. I'm gonna highlight some of the strategies that I used to implement in my studying and how it wasn't really effective and wasn't getting me the exam results that I was after. I'll go over some studies highlighting the effectiveness of Active Recall and also talk about how I implement Active Recall into my study regime. All right, well, let's get into it. Throughout the majority of my university life, I spent years, I would highlight notes, I would rewrite them off the slides, I would then rewrite my notes again and the cycle just continued on and on and on and on. And most people, when they are studying, follow this exact same pathway. We find our notes, we write them and we highlight them. We read the textbook and we think that we're absorbing all this knowledge. Then we're disappointed when it doesn't translate to test day. And I followed this same routine for years. And eventually it got to a point where I just wasn't happy enough. I just was fed up with not getting the results that I thought I deserved. So I thought, you know, there has to be a way to optimize this. There has to be a way that I can maximize my studying time and use my time more efficiently so I can get better results. And that's when I actually stumbled across Active Recall. Now I love this. I love Active Recall and when I found it, it completely changed my life. I love anything that can get you a better result in a quicker amount of time. I love optimizing things. I'm, I'm a bit of a nut when it comes to trying to organize my life and getting things optimized to the point where I can get just as much, if not more done, but in like a small amount of time. Now the difference between something like Active Recall and other types of studying such as rewriting notes, reading textbook and highlighting is that they are all forms of passive learning. Whereas Active Recall, as the name suggests, requires you to actively retrieve the information stored in your brain so you can apply it to a question on the paper, whether that's studying or whether that's on an exam. Now, however, it's not a miracle cure. It's not a magic bean. You do still need to be consistent when using this method to study. Otherwise, you will forget the content. Now, I will be uploading a video in the next couple weeks going over spaced repetition and something called the forgetting curve rule. So stay tuned for it. Now the way to utilize active recall in your studying is generally through questioning yourself. Now I will explain how I use active recall when I study for exams in just a second. So ever since discovering active recall, it has completely reshaped how I study for my exams. I now no longer write any notes for university whatsoever. I now just make big question banks based on the slides and then answer them myself throughout the week. And then that's it, I'm done. It probably takes me like an hour to do a whole class worth of questions and then maybe another 45 to an hour to actually answer them myself. It's funny actually, I remember this one conversation I had with a friend just the other day when we were talking about active recall after using it for about a year in our degrees. And we spoke about how not only were we learning more, but the actual quality of our learning had improved. And not only that, but the speed in which we could learn new content actually increased, which as I found out is actually quite scientifically sound. And I'll get into that right now. Our first study found that learning with active recall actually made it easier to learn new information when presented in the same way. It increased their learning ability as well as performance on tests. And they termed this the forward testing effect. Now it actually sounds pretty similar to studying and then actually sitting exams, doesn't it? Because if we are learning through questions and then the exams give us similar like-minded questions, it's gonna be easier for us to access that knowledge and answer the questions and ultimately perform better on exams. So this study spoke about two experiments. In the first one, they got a group of participants to try and match people's face with their names and then they repeatedly tested them until they got a perfect score. Once they had received a perfect score, they then repeated the test, but with different faces and different names and found 
that the participants actually needed fewer amount of cycles to reach that perfect score the second time around. Therefore, showing that active recall not only improves learning, but also the speed at which we can retain new information. The second experiment is one that tested the forward testing effect in a way that's been quite heavily researched and developed over the most recent years in this specific scenario. Essentially, there were three groups. Each group had to learn three different blocks of content. The content was the same across all groups. Group one, at the end of each content, retested themselves on what they had just learnt. Groups two and three either got a test based on arbitrary information that wasn't related to the test or were asked to simply restudy that information. When they got to the third content block, each group retested themselves on that third block. In every experiment where this scenario has been implemented, group one that undertook retesting after each consecutive block of information substantially outperformed groups two and group three every time. This supports that not only does active recall facilitate stronger learning, it also allows us to more easily learn new content when using this same method. Jumping straight into study two, study two tried to ascertain the most effective way to study in medical school. The study mentioned an experiment that tried to get participants to recall answers to fictional historical questions. So naturally, when they first did it, they were always going to get the question wrong. However, when paired with individuals who tried to learn the answers using passive forms of study, they found that although it was significantly harder and they were not correct the first few times, it still showed a more conducive learning experience or method than passive learning. Essentially meaning that even if you're not getting the questions correct, through using the active recall method, you are still increasing your ability to retain information and learn the knowledge. And this is actually kind of a big issue with students around testing and studying. It's that we use testing as a way to apply already learnt knowledge as opposed to using it as a technique where we can actually bolster and improve our learning ability. Study three, which to me was actually probably the most fascinating of them all, actually went into the biological processes that are involved with memory retention and actually building up our memory storage. And it discussed that when learning, we're undergoing a process of moving information from a limited, small, transient working memory into a larger, more permanent, long-term memory storage. Now, I like to think of this a little bit like unpacking your car. So say you've got boxes from your old house or something, and you've got them all in your back seat. Now your car there in your back seat, it's a very small area. It's very limited because you know it's not gonna be there for very long. So you chuck it in, load it, go to your house, and when you take it out, you are moving your boxes to the garage or to your new house where your new house has more space and it's a more permanent residing area for your belongings or your, your knowledge or your memories to stay. They then go on to talk about how as we continue our learning process, this induces changes in our pre and post synaptic neurons that are responsible for memory retrieval. These changes also get strengthened over time if they are regularly used. The study then goes on to classify what actual study techniques strengthen these impulses between neurons the most. And they found that high utility assessments like active recall and spaced repetition strengthened those neurons and had a much more potent effect on those changes compared to low utility assessments, such as rereading and summarizing notes and highlighting. I now have so much more free time with my days and throughout my weeks. I'm no longer packing up all my stuff, going to the library and summarizing a week's worth of notes and it takes me like 12 hours or it takes me multiple days. I now just have to sit at my computer, find the high yield pieces of information from the slides, chuck them into a question and I've done a whole week's worth of questions in probably like three or four hours. And then it probably might take me like two or three or one or two hours to then actually answer the questions and see what I've got right or wrong and questions. So it still takes a while, but you know, it's, it's not a whole day's worth of effort. And not only this, but because of how active recall strengthens those neural pathways, I'm also learning more and I'm retaining the information for a longer period of time. 
meaning that I don't have to go over the information every single day. Although I do because I wanna do well, but, but you have that flexibility to spend more time hanging out with friends, playing video games, or for my case, like making these YouTube videos. Pretty much anything that you'd much rather be doing that isn't study. Ways I implement this into my study routine and how you can too, is something called the Cornell note-taking system. Essentially, it just involves what I've already outlined that I do anyway, which is making questions from the slides and then going through them systematically and answering them. The extra little thing is though, is that after you've answered them, and this is what I do in my Notion setup, is that after I've answered it, I highlight the question either green, yellow, or red. And that way I know that if I've got it green, great, I absolutely aced it. I don't have to really focus on that so hard, maybe tomorrow. If it's orange, mm, I probably got half of it right or I got some of it, I do need to go over it tomorrow. And if it's red, it means I got absolutely nothing. I didn't know the question whatsoever, and I should probably test myself again later on today, as well as in the subsequent days and tomorrow, until I can finally get up to green. Another great tool to use as well is Anki, and that's a great flashcard app that really utilizes active recall. And if you haven't already, check out my video really breaking down Anki and explaining why it's good to use for students who want to implement active recall into their study routine. This is just the gold standard of studying. I cannot believe it took me one and a half degrees to actually find this and implement it into my life. I really believe that this should be discussed more during our schooling life. We're always told to study, 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 but we're never actually taught how to effectively and appropriately study that's gonna warrant us the best results come exam and test day. If you are undergoing medicine at all, or you're interested in the GAMSAT whatsoever, I've made a playlist and curated it for all of you to have a look through because it's got some really good tips and tricks that I've picked up that I think will really benefit you too. And that's it. Thanks for tuning in again, everybody. I've been wanting to make this video for a while, so I'm really glad that it's finally out there. Make sure to like and subscribe down the bottom so you don't miss any of my new content. If you enjoyed what you watched today, feel free to leave a comment down below about how you study, some of your study tips and tricks, and if you've been using Active Recall and maybe how it's changed your study routines. Until next time, guys, see ya.